Some babies handle vaccines with no obvious problems. Mild to moderate fever, fussiness on and off, some redness and swelling, less interest in feeding, and sleeping more than usual or expected reactions on the day of vaccination. But what if your baby's reaction is more than that? Severe reactions are fairly obvious. Seizures, shock, anaphylactic allergic reaction, fever of 105 degrees, and coma convince most parents to stop vaccinating. But moderate side effects like eczema, personality changes, sudden loss of developmental milestones, an inconsolable crying for many hours often go unrecognized as being connected to vaccination and can be harmful when repeated with each scheduled round of vaccines. You may have been told these types of reactions are common and even normal. But inconsolable crying for three or more hours is a harmful reaction called encephalitis or swelling and inflammation of the brain. Severe swelling of an arm or leg or sudden rashes like hives or eczema around the whole body indicate an allergic reaction that can worsen with repeated doses. Lethargy means your baby doesn't respond to your voice or touch, won't engage you with eye contact, refuses to feed, and lies limply in your arms with little to no movement. Parents often report that their baby shuts down for a week after vaccination. The child's personality and demeanor change. They stop smiling and lose eye contact. All of these could be signs of a neurological reaction. The important question is, can this have a lasting effect on your baby's health and development? Just because these reactions are considered common does not mean they are normal. And it certainly doesn't mean they are harmless. When babies react poorly, parents must decide if it is safe for their children to continue vaccinating. Are these rare diseases so deadly that the 70 doses of vaccines on the CDC schedule are worth the risk? Is it possible that vaccines are not safe for all children? And for parents, how do you recognize when a harmful reaction occurs? If you see that your baby isn't handling vaccines well, don't just call your doctor or talk with a staff member over the phone. Return to your doctor's office as soon as possible so your baby can be evaluated in person. Asking questions doesn't make you anti-vaccination. It makes you pro-immunity education. Brought to you by the Immunity Education Group, a non-profit organization.